Spanning the Lehigh Valley, bringing you a variety of sports. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. The fans' passion for athletic competition. This is the Noise Nation's Bass Valley of Sports. Brought to you by Decal, Depot's Dish, Cram's Corner, Cheryl Purcell, and your host, founder of the Noise Nation, Noise Nation Dan. As we checked in with Coca-Cola Park, we got shocking news via social media, and we checked first with the social media guru. Hey, Noise Nation, it's your old friend, Cram, and I'm here at the social media center at Coca-Cola Park uh, with the social media director, Kate, uh, and we're going to try to get some of the reaction, what's been going on on social media today with the new announcement that Charlie Manuel's been relieved of his duties as manager of the Phillies, Ryan, our own Ryan Sandberg is taking over. What's been the reaction that you've seen on the internet? Well, it's blowing up Twitter right now. Uh, the Phillies have been trending since about 12.30 when they announced their press conference. And since then, I guess the biggest thing that's been thrown out is Charlie Manuel's like, firing, end of his contract, and completely... Well, straight after that was Ryan Sandberg's name being tossed up as the replacement. Uh, the, the Phillies just tweeted about four minutes ago uh, the official news, and yeah, as you can see behind us on the big screen, the press, press conference is going on now. What's been the uh, reaction? Has it been mostly positive, mostly negative? What are, what are people saying? There's a lot of blame going to Ruben Amaro Jr. Um, I mean, I don't really want to comment on that, but uh, yeah, I think people are really pleased and pleased for you know, the amount of success that uh, Charlie Manuel has had, but not really pleased about the way in which the Phillies organization have gone about this decision that's timing right now. Yeah, I was reading some of the same same reaction. I think some of the reaction here in the Lehigh Valley has been at least somewhat positive, more than overall among Phillies fans, but at least somewhat positive because we know Ryan Sandberg and he managed here for us for two years, uh, and we had some nice success here in the Lehigh Valley. So, so I've seen some positive reaction, uh, not overall, but just from Iron Peaks fans. Yeah, I believe that there will be a huge positive, uh, you know, a huge show of support for Ryan Sandberg and. The fact that he's returning to take a big job at the big club that gave him his, his start will be, I think, pretty significant for Iron Peaks fans as well. And, you know, they're close to, all, they're all close to his heart here, so it's pretty good for him. Yeah, it'll be a nice little audition for him. You'll get a chance to manage, and there's not a whole lot of expectations for the Phillies between now and the end of the season. So he'll have a chance to kind of mold the team, and uh, if he does a great job, I expect maybe maybe he'll be uh, he'll be hired in the off season. That, that's what I've seen. Have you seen the same thing on social media? Yeah, the, I guess the reports seem to stipulate the same sort of guesses that are going around. And I guess a really positive uh, thing for Ryan Sandberg will be half the team that he's looking at is the team that he's managed for the past few years. So that'll be really positive for him. That's an excellent point. Thank you very much for meeting with us today. Oh, thanks for your time. Hey, Noise Nation, it's Cram here uh, in the Iron Pigs dugout with D-Pro and Steve Sussdorf, and we're going we're gonna to talk about batting practice. Uh, Jason, are you ready for batting practice? Yeah, I think so. We're just in the cage for a little bit and hitting off the tee, and Steve threw me some, uh, some soft tosses, and I didn't uh, dislocate anything, so we'll see how it goes. But are you really ready? I mean, do you know what you're in for? Have they told you who's pitching to you? Yeah, supposedly Pete Orr. I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll see. Uh, that's a good thing. Pete throws, <laughs> Pete throws some great VP. All right, so that's a good uh, good feedback from Steve. Uh, Steve, this whole thing, we're making fun of Jason a lot, but it all came out of an auction uh, that you and your wife uh, set up. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it was an auction where all the proceeds were going towards the House of Hope Orphanage in Haiti. My wife and I visited this last off offseason, uh, went over and did uh, some work uh, on a mission trip with our church out there. And uh, just felt really inspired to try and do something about it when we came back here on the platform we're on here and uh, talked to Sarah and uh, Kurt and, and they, they, they coordinated the fundraiser and, and it was all downhill from there. And luckily, uh, Jason Jason won the Iron Pig for the day. That was one of our, our biggest contributors. That was our biggest contributor of the, of the auction. And, and I contacted the uh, ministry leader out there and let him know how much money we raised. And he was just so excited. That money is going to go a really long ways in Haiti. and. Uh, 
It, it was just, it was a great event. That's great to hear. How much did you raise? Do you remember? Yeah, it was just short of 5000 I think it was like 4700 or $4,800 or something like that. So, really good. Yeah, that'll be great for them. Did they, did they have an earmark for any special projects, or is it just make it go as far as it can? Uh, they did. Uh, one thing that is a need out there, there's three orphanages out there. One of them is a disabled kids orphanage, and they needed a vehicle to transport them to and from the hospital for medical treatment. And right now, I don't, I don't know how they were doing it. They might have been borrowing a vehicle, um, but that was the main, the main goal of the auction. And I think the amount of money we raised uh, that might get done out there. That's great. Uh, Jason, are you planning anything special for your batting practice? Uh, last night I remember hearing you say there might be some special stretches involved. Well, the thing I'm really planning on is hitting one into the bullpen and just tossing the bat and leaving the stadium, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I heard that there's been some wagering in the clubhouse in terms of how far you may or may not be able to hit the ball. Have you heard anything about that? No, unfortunately, they didn't give me the line because uh, I probably would have placed a bet. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they can't have you ruin the curve on, the, on that one, so we'll try to check back with you at the end of the uh, uh, at the end of the time. Oh, are you going to do any fielding? I see you have a glove with you. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. check some balls in the outfield and throw with Steve here for a little bit and see what else we can get into. Maybe uh, take uh, some third base. Have you ever used that glove before? Yes. <laughs> Wait, is this my glove? <laughs> yes, All right, we'll talk to you later. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Province, Director of Media Relations and Broadcasting for the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, and you're watching the Noise Nation Vast Valley of Sports. As we move on in the show, we're going to take you to D-Pro's hitting skills. Uh, he took a few practice swings and then jumped into the cage. He took a few swings, uh, fouled a few off, and then uh, got a little comfortable, which led to some friendly razzing from the other players. Depro got a little too confident, which uh, led pitcher Pete Orr to brush him back. <laughs> Depro then moved out to shortstop to show off his fielding skills. Some good. Some bad. And some ugly. Depro finished out his day as an iron pig, shagging some fly balls in the outfield. And a great day was had by all for a great charity. I'm John Scudras with the Iron Pigs Radio Network, and you're watching the Noise Nation's Vast Valley of Sports. Hey, it's Cram. Welcome back to the Vast Valley of Sports. I'm here with Josh Fields, and we wanted to ask him a little bit of what it's like playing ball in the playoff race and playing a little shorthanded. The team's low on roster uh, availability, and uh, some guys have had to really step it up. What's that been like the last few days? Oh, it's, uh, it, it, it is kind of tough, you know, when you know, it's tough on the man because he's got decisions to make about double switching that he normally you know, what to do, and so uh, it, it adds a lot of stress on the whole team. I know there was a new player out here this afternoon. He was taking some cuts in the cage and, and uh, taking some ground balls at shortstop. Do you think he could help the team for the playoffs? No. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, 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 I'm not sure that you know. You, maybe you didn't understand the question. You know, we don't have enough players, and if we need somebody to, you know, take one for the team, if, if, do you think there's any way he could help the team? You know, down the stretch. I can bring the cups. No. <laughs> All righty. Well, <laughs> thanks a lot, and, and have a good rest of the season. No problem. I will say this. I will go on to say this. He did surprise a couple of people about his hitting today. So give him a little bit of credit there. 
but the answer is still no. He, we're okay with that. <laughs> well, I think he'll still be here every night, and, <laughs> and I will too, but the, the help we can give is a little bit more uh, supportive in nature, let's, let's say. Uh, thanks for everything this season, John. Okay, no problem. Hi, I'm Uncle Marty, and you're watching the Noise Nation Fast Valley of Sports. All right, welcome back to the Fast Valley of Sports. I'm here with the newest Iron Pig, Jason D. Pro. Jason, how'd it feel out there today? Tired, but it was a lot of fun. Um, certainly not running for probably 30 years or so. It was definitely a good time. I really like to thank Steve Sustor, the Iron Pigs, and uh, Steve Charity, House of Hope. Hope they have lots of success and can take care of some orphans there. There are some people a little surprised by how well you hit the ball. Were you surprised? <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, it's been a while since I hit. I can generally, you know, hit the ball out of the infield most times. And uh, with a little help from Steve in the beginning, I think I did okay. I heard they played a joke on you with the bat. What happened with that? Uh, uh, Josh Fields gave me a piece of lumber to swing. Uh, said it was Tyson Gilly's bat, an off-season bat, a weighted bat. It was like swinging a tree. But after I picked up uh, my bat, it actually felt like a feather. So probably was good to take a couple swings with the bat, although it probably weighed more than I did. I heard uh, also that the the bases didn't used to be this far apart. Is that right? Well, when I played midget ball, no pun intended, or grasshopper, still no pun intended, um, they probably were a little closer, but uh, I have on that arm from short. Yeah, <laughs> good one. Uh, Steve, how did he do? I thought he did great, uh, especially when we got out there hitting. I didn't know what to expect, but uh, definitely exceeded my expectations. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to uh, be a part of and, and get to run them around and retire them out. Do you know CPR and were you afraid you had to use it? <laughs> no, I did not know CPR. Uh, but yeah, he got a little winded there, but that's to be expected and uh, bounced right back and got out there and my balls. Yeah, we had a lot of fun and I couldn't do any better. So uh, so it was, a, it was great to see, great experience and, uh, and great cause. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. It was to a great cause and uh, I can't tell you how happy uh, the ministry leader was when I told him how much money we were sending his way and how much good it was going to do. So, it's a great cause, and I'm really happy that everyone that participated, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Though. Well, and perhaps we can bring some joy, too. We'll send you a link to these videos, and uh, they, they can get a look at uh, at, uh, at what happened. Definitely, definitely. I'll forward that right on to the ministry later. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right.